Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will create an IAM user. AWS has updated the IAM console and now requires you to first create an IAM user before generating an access key for that user. So in this lecture, I'll show you how to create an IAM user and generate an access key for that user. To create an IAM user in the management console, type IAM in the search box. Then select IAM under services. On your IAM dashboard, select users. Then click add users. Give the user a name. Once you've given your IAM user a name, if you want to enable your IAM user to sign in using the management console, you will check this box. But for this IAM user, we only want this user to have programmatic access. And if you read here, AWS now requires you to create the IAM user first before you generate an access key for that user. So once you've given your IAM user a name, click next. On this page, we will attach a policy directly to the user. So click attach policies directly. Then scroll down. We will give this user administrator access so you can select it here. And if you don't see it here, you can also type administrator access in this search box. Then scroll down and click next. On this page, review the details for your user. Make sure you have given your user a name and under permissions summary, make sure your user has administrator access. Then scroll down and click create user. This is how you create an IEM user. Once you have created your IEM user, for your user to have programmatic access, you have to generate an access key and secret access key for your user. To generate an access key and secret access key, select the user. Once you select the user, you will see the user's name here. Select the security credentials tab. Once you have selected the security credentials tab, scroll down. Under access keys, click create access key. On this page, you will see the different options for the type of access key you can generate. But for our project, we want to generate an access key that allows us to use the AWS command line interface. So here we will select command line interface. Once you have select command line interface, scroll down and here check this box. Once you've checked the box, click next. If you want to add a description, you will do so on this page but we won't add a description and click create access key. And there you go. This is how you generate an access key for your user. And this is also equivalent to giving your user programmatic access. Once you have generated the access key for your user, remember that you only see your user's secret access key the first time you create it. So what you have to do is save it somewhere on your computer. You can either click show here and copy your user's access key and secret access key and save it somewhere on your computer. Please also remember that this credentials is a secret. So make sure you save it somewhere safe on your computer. Think of these credentials as your username and password and anyone that has access to it can create resources in your AWS account. Also, another thing you can do is download the CSV file for your credentials. To download the CSV file for your credentials, click download CSV file here. When you download the CSV file, it is going to open this Excel file that contains your user's access key ID and secret access key. This is how you generate an access key for your user so that your user can have programmatic access. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.